Let's talk a little bit about the Caesar Pena video, if I've got it here. Bear with me a second while I flip and get it. So Caesar Pena decided to break his silence and talk about everything that's been going on. Personally, yo, big up um, Club Fungus. Appreciate you, brother. Personally, I don't understand why this guy has such a fucking desire to get in front of the camera and speak. But I kind of do, right? He's a narcissist, so it makes sense. Everybody's speaking about him in the media, in the press, in the news. His mentions are going off. He's probably getting more DMs, more interactions than he's ever gotten in his entire life. Obviously for the wrong reasons. But for someone like him that craves the lime, like crazy attention, he's probably feeling like he needs to bask in it even for a little bit before it all goes down. Because imagine he does get found guilty. You know, all the stuff that he does now isn't really going to make that much of a difference. So he might as well just, you know, enjoy the time that he has free, enjoy all the fucking attention and go from there. But the video is very odd. He got on, I think, Instagram and decided to kind of, you know, do a little 20 minute fucking speech thing. And it was very strange because he did try and defend DJ Envy. And I'm listening to the video. I'm like, hold on. Didn't DJ Envy snitch on you? Because the current theory now at the moment is that the reason why DJ Envy hasn't been officially arrested is because he's cooperating or something on those kind of lines. Um, and if I was him anyway, and I'm involved in that kind of scam, I will just be nervous that everybody's cooperating. My wife, my brother, everybody. I'll just, I'll just be that kind of nervous guy because it's a fucking scam. And everybody you're working with is a fucking thief. And thief has no, thieves have no honor. But for some reason... Caesar is defending Envy and also defending himself and it's very ill-advised. I'm sure Caesar's lawyers are not happy about this video, but in the interest of content, it's, it's just going to work out good for us. So let's watch Caesar here. I am surprised by the amount of people, yes, they are on this live right now. Also, is he high or is he just zesty? Or is he Dominican? What's going on? Is he zesty? Is he high? Or is he just Dominican? Like, what's happening here? Because some of the mannerisms that he's talking are a bit strange. But anyway, let's continue. Shout out to John the Barber, just cut my hair. Please leave my barber alone and stop burning him. Shout out to John the Barber. Look, I've, if I'm the barber, I'm like, please don't shout me out. Please. Please. Shh. Shh. He, he's a good guy. Real Steve Rico, that's lame. As fuck. It makes no sense. He kind of sounds a little bit like Lee Sayat, isn't it? He sounds like a Dominican Lee Sayat. Mm, yeah, it makes no sense. Like I got, I got a lot of uh, grief from family members just for not voting the last election. And but my aunt, who who's a little bit older, said something very, and I, I didn't even think about it. Since I've been in seventh grade. Since 2001, there's been, like, constant war. Jesus. Constant, like, terrorist. Like, like that, that threat. It just, there hasn't really been peace for about 16 years. Yeah. So it's just, like, it. it we've almost become used to it, I think. And we've, Wait. Like, you fucking walk to Starbucks three days a week and you work two <laughs> nights a fucking week. What conflict do you have in your fucking life? <laughs> you went to college for four years. You came out here. You worked as an editor. And then I got my paws on you. You work two days a week, and you fan your balls the rest of the fucking time. I got to give you a hundred bucks to get you out of the fucking house. And you're talking about what conflict have you had in your fucking life? There's no conflict. You didn't vote because you didn't fucking feel like voting. You shouldn't have said nothing to them in the first place. What do they give a fuck? Right. Um, the last couple months have been a little crazy. Um, you know, um, I, come on, nigga, get to it. I apologize that I haven't really spoken out, right? Because everybody now, you know, we have attorneys, we got to watch what we say, you know, all these different things. There's so many different rules now. <laughs> <laughs> different rules bro they're trying to keep you out of fucking prison rules <laughs> the time you have to watch what i say and um i don't really know like why <laughs> it's a free country you don't live in america <laughs> like bro they're trying to keep you out of jail <laughs> All right um every five minutes you know i say hi to my mailman and i think he's gonna sue me right <laughs> At this point, I think my landscaper, I think everybody's suing me. I don't, I don't know who's going to sue me. I can't say anything, right? 
Um, has he got one of those trap fucking? Oh yes, he's got, he's got his chain on. He's got that um trap landlord train on. Fucking hell, man! This guy. The one thing I am gonna say, uh, you know, whenever you touch success, right, you get all these people that want to be around you, right? Uh huh. Everybody wants to be a friend. Uh huh. Everybody wants to just touch you, right? Pause. Because like, oh my god, I touched this guy, he'll change my life. Pause. Right. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was I'm successful, right? I was successful. Everybody wants to be my friend. Everybody wants to be around me. As soon as shit hits the fan, all these people that have profited from my success, which there's more people that profited from my success than the this this guy can't pronounce success. How do people trust this guy with hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars? This guy cannot pronounce success. Wow. The people that are suing me. But yet, yeah, all these people that profited from my success, all the people that I have built out of jail, all the people that I have put cars in my name, apartments in my name, helped them with down payments for houses, helped them with this, helped them with when they can't pay their rent. Where are these people at? Hold on. So you're telling me all the people that are around you because they thought you were a legit businessman with money and with some sort of influence and power, once they realized that you were operating a multi-wide Ponzi scheme that has now racked up in the hundreds of millions of fucking dollars from people and victims all over the flipping place, once they realized that you're actually maybe a criminal, they all disappeared and didn't want to be your friend anymore. No way. You're telling me people ran away from you when they found out that you might be a criminal. No way. You're telling me people didn't want to be associated with somebody that might go down for one of the biggest, largest, most flagrant Ponzi schemes in modern history. No way. No way. You're kidding me. I thought they would have been down, man. I thought they would have held you down, bro. Come on, bro. I don't see him, but yet I got all the haters, right? All the Tony Bologna fans. All the haters. <laughs> How could you be accused of fraud, accused of scamming, accused of running a Ponzi scheme, and then label people that aren't fans of the things that you've been accused of haters? What? They're on my page. You're going to jail. Pay the people. But yet, there's two, three sides to every story, right? I have 20 lawsuits. Out of those 20 lawsuits, a lot of those people I don't owe money to. Because everybody's suing me because they're like, oh my God, this guy's successful. I can sue him. I can sue him. I can sue him. Or oh, I'm going to get this money, right? Then you have all these people being co co What's the word? Coerced? Coerced? Mm -hmm. Whatever it is. Whatever the word is, right? To sue people affiliated with me just because they're a bigger name, right? They're a bigger name than me. Yeah, that's how lawsuits and that's work, the situation that breaks my heart the most is how in all these lawsuits, these 20 lawsuits, DJ Envy was never in the room with me. DJ Envy has nothing to do with any of these 20 lawsuits of these people that are suing me. Yo, the way he's writing for DJ Envy and he has no idea what DJ Envy is going to be doing to him in the background. Do you think DJ Envy is going to ride for you also? Do you think he's going to hold you down? When he's faced with the prospect of facing some level of prison time, having his reputation besmirched, having his family ripped apart, having his assets taken from him, do you honestly think he's going to say, nah, he did nothing wrong. Caesar's my guy. Do you honestly think he'll do that? The faith and the blind ignorance, naivete, naivety of this man is quite startling. He's quite infantile in the way that he thinks, isn't it? At this point, if I'm him, and again, scamming shit, so he deserves everything he's getting if he's guilty or if he's, you know, if it's if everything that people are saying about him is true, he deserves everything he's gonna get. But if I'm in his position, you have to assume everybody's snitching. You have to assume everybody's snitching. Why? Because you're running a scam. It's good when it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. 
Because you have various points of weakness. Every person you're in business with is a point of weakness. Your wife, your business partner, your accountant, your lawyer, the studio fucking manager, the receptions you're fucking. They're all people that could hurt you. So if it's me and I'm in his position, you have to assume everybody's snitching. You have to protect yourself and shut the fuck up. Why is he trying to cap and fucking ride for and white knight for Envy at this point? God damn it, bro. Envy's got his own family too. Envy's got his own family to look after. He's not going to be thinking about yours. You have to protect your, not even your family. You have to protect yourself at this point. Because guess what? You're being investigated for fucking fraud. And there's many people involved. And there's hundreds of millions of dollars at stake. Jesus Christ, bro. MB wasn't in the room. What? And it's, it fucking sucks, bro. It pisses me off that all these people are bashing DJ MB. Nah, this is Lisa, yeah. This is the flying fucking... This is the flying Dominican. This is the flying Dominican. If you close your eyes, this is fucking Lee Syed. This is the flying the Dominican. Um, it's pissing me. Like, wow. If you close your eyes, this is fucking Lee Syed. It's the flying Dominican. Wow. From Master Flex, Rick Ross, every single person. Because what you people got to understand is that DJ Envy is so successful in hip hop. that There we as go. Successful again. As far as a DJ, the people just don't like him. And even though I love DJ Envy, but Pause. nine out of ten people don't like him. I don't know why. You know what that what, what that what's that about? I don't know if DJ Envy is a bad tipper. I don't know what it is. Well, he is he is a bad tipper. I'm not gonna lie, he's a bad tipper. Hey, inside joke. Hey, humor, banter, inside joke. Even though I'm facing double digit prison time and all my money could get taken away and my family could get destroyed. Inside joke. Ha ha ha. Me and Envy are friends. Get it? We know each other well. Yo. Yo, is this guy living in another parallel universe? Does he not understand the severity of his crimes? <laughs> He's a bad tipper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Sorry, Em. But you know, you got this guy, Tony the Closer, uh, making you know, talking like there's a narrative, right? And people don't see it. I narrative talk. brendan's favorite word hey he says narrative too that's a fucking leonardo dicaprio meme he says narrative as well oh shit narrative boys shit about dj envy i talk shit about caesar i'm selling my my girl's ugly ass boots i talk shit about <sighs> i was about to say I, I honestly thought you were about to say i'm selling my girl's pants or something or underwear i swear down i don't know why my mind went that way but i thought what <laughs> our boy's gonna be like that's gonna be like his origin story as an entrepreneur instead of selling comics i used to sell my girl's underwear man like whoa <laughs> okay about dj envy i talk shit about caesar i talk shit about jenny tips i'm selling a real estate course i talk shit about caesar i talk shit about dj envy i'm selling an ugly ass t-shirt and people don't see that right they're not seeing that then all these people with these lawsuits they're all suing me right Again, before 2023, I had one lawsuit. Now I have 20 ever since this guy started bashing. <laughs> Tony the Closer and other f personal finance, credit, whatever these guys are, industry guys, exposed my scamming and now everybody's suing me. What the fuck's going on? Before I got exposed, nobody knew I was running a scam. Now everybody knows I'm a scammer and they're trying to capitalize on it and get their money back that they owed by attaching my name to it because I'm a high profile name. Huh? I'm so surprised. What's going on here? I was able to get away with it 10 years ago. Why can't I get away with it now? Yo, this guy is an absolute baby. Wow, bro. How did these people lend this guy? How did they give this, pe this guy their hard-earned money? He legitimately sounds like he has double-digit IQ. I swear on my life. Wow. Jose Acuerdo, dude, the biggest piece of shit in the world. This guy's a fucking scumbag. Goes on, on Tony's page in May. Says, Caesar owes me $200,000. He didn't pay me. Yet, Jose the credit dude... I have the receipts that I paid you back in November, back in January. Now you go in May and you make up this lie. And you start this whole thing 
where now all these people are being affected, right? Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. If I owe somebody, I owe somebody. Nobody is here. To <laughs> if I scammed, I scammed. If I ponzied, I ponzied. <laughs> Yo, it doesn't work like that, bro. You are you're under investigation from the feds. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it's not like you owe somebody like a round of drinks. I'm sorry. My bad. I forgot to buy the round. Next round's on me. Apologies. It's not about that, mate. It's not that. <laughs> He's acting like he forgot to buy everybody shots. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this guy is fucking bugging. Holy shit, Cesar Pena. To lie or whatever. I owe you, you sue me, or court of law will work the shit out, whatever it is, right? But now all these Carlo. people putting this energy behind this machine, putting this energy. Huevos Rancheros. Tony the closest does not give a fuck about victims. All the money that he made from the t shirts that he sold or the badges, he is not donating to victims. He's not giving them money. He's just in it for the clicks. Just like everybody else, right? So all these people are feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. You're feeding this machine. Oh, I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I hope he gets locked up. I got locked up. I'm still here. Right? Oh, this is going to be used in another video. When he, when he eventually gets his time, this is going to be used in the video. And they're going to play that fucking um, Larry David fucking theme tune. They're going to play this. Or that five seconds later... It's going to be a news report. I mean, news at 10. Seize the penny. Oh, this is going to be used. They're going to fucking use this clip. I'm still here. Okay. Okay. Be careful what you wish for. So now I'm here. And guess what? You fucking geniuses that you all want me seeing get charged and get locked up. Now the government is involved. Now the government's going to come in and say, we're staying all these lawsuits till your criminal proceedings are done. So guess what? From a year to two years to getting paid? Nah, it could be three to five years. This guy's a piece of shit. Yo, big up, young old vibes. Wog one. Heart. Wog one, young old vibes. What's the deal? What's the deal? Bang your doors, shake your chairs, shake your flipping fist in the air. What's good? What's good? And if you guys will be lucky if you see anything. And th this is like the most retarded shit in the world. Instead of having a conversation with somebody, that's been successful for all these years. I have a track record from 2017 to 2020. This guy is saying, hey, you guys have now hand me up in lawsuits. You won't get your money back for ages. It's like, bruh, what kind of defense is this? What kind of defense is this? So he's basically saying in a roundabout way, if you wanted your money, you should have came to me directly instead of putting these lawsuits together. Because now, because of the lawsuits and the government being involved, you won't get your money for another two to three, maybe more years. Uh, that's why we're doing it, you fucking idiot. They all tried to come to you directly. And people kept saying that he's the biggest, he's the best excuse maker. He talks about his parents dying. He was busy. Something happened with his kids. Flat tire. Blah, blah, blah. He never really comes through with the money. He sends people fucking, you know, he, he writes people bogus checks and shit, gives them jewelry because he can't give them the money yet. So they tried to come to him directly and they and he didn't follow up. He didn't come through. Hence why the lawsuits happen. It's pretty easy to understand. 22 of no lawsuits, no problems. Then this guy starts bashing me. I got a shitload of lawsuits, right? You know what? Maybe if you don't scam... You don't get lawsuits. And again, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> if I owe, I owe. If I scam, Nobody I scam. Nobody is here saying if I, Ponzi, that I'm a I, victim. Ponzi. I don't give a fuck. Oh. You. <laughs> you know, people come on my page that I don't owe money to or have any deals with and they're talking shit all day. Como se dice, I don't give a fuck in Espanol. <laughs> all these trolls, right? I wish all these people would put this energy to actually get a fucking job or be successful at something, right? Tony the Closer doesn't own any real estate. He's a fake real estate guru. Yo, flexing on somebody else's business acumen and their real estate portfolio while you're getting investigated for a multi-million dollar Ponzi scheme that involved real estate is absolutely insane. 
Sir, you're under investigation by the feds who have a 90, what is it? A 98 plus fucking percent conviction rate. Focus should be on other things, my friend. <laughs> Not on trying to prove or demonstrate or make clear who is the better businessman out of the other. You know, like this is not the time for flexing businessman credentials. Please. Right? I'm the real deal. <laughs> Even though now I'm going through some shit that I got to deal with, because I'm a fucking man first. So whatever I am responsible for, I am responsible for. And if I hurt anybody in any way, made their lives difficult, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> he's admitting fault <laughs> he's basically this is an admission of guilt his lawyers must be absolutely ripping their hair from their fucking heads their client is basically admitting to the crime what the fuck is going on here <laughs> oh this guy's a fucking idiot damn but my life has been difficult all of my friends and all the people that have success with me, where are they? Have any of them come up here and told me, yo, see, my hombres have disappeared. Where are my hombres? Where are my chicos? Where are my chicas? Donde estas? <laughs> are you good? Caesar, somebody put online, they're going to kill your daughter. They're going to kidnap your mother. They're going <laughs> to rape you. They're going to rape this person. Even if they said they're going to rape me, who the fuck wants to rape me? Just... <laughs> He's calling yourself mid. He's calling himself mid. Who would want to rape me? <laughs> He's calling himself mid. Who would want to rape me? Have you seen me? Have you seen the size of me? I'm a fucking unit. Who'd want to rape me? Yo, he doesn't know. He's got those big fucking fat boy milkers. Someone would want to rape him. Oh, that's fucking incredible. Calling yourself mid in the middle of this rant is fucking great. Crazy, right? And oh, that was a, me? That, that was very. Look at his face. That was very zesty, isn't it? He has some. He has some very. He has some very dirty thoughts there. Look at look at his face at the end. Look at his face. Your mother. They're gonna rape you. They're gonna rape this person. Even they said they're gonna rape me. Who the fuck wants to rape me? This is crazy, right? <laughs> he was imagining it. He was imagining it. He was imagining it. He was like, "Ooh, they're gonna they're gonna rape me." Ooh, tranquilo, hombres. Tranquilo. Calmate, hombres. Calmate. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Put online, they're, they're gonna kill your daughter. They're gonna <laughs> kidnap your mother. They're gonna rape you. They're gonna rape this person. Even they said they're gonna rape me. Who the fuck wants to rape me? This is crazy. Mm. Right? <laughs> and it's like, wow, this shit keeps on. This shit keeps <laughs> on. You know, then you got these reporters, right? Making up, like, the other day, our heart radio's office got raided. They didn't even raid my house, and I'm the target. How the fuck are they gonna raid the radio station? What are they gonna take? The fucking CDs? The records? Where are they taking? Like, this shit is crazy. This shit makes no sense. Tony the Closer says every week, Caesar owes 100 million, 80 million, 60 million, 50 million, 10 million. Fuck. I almost believe him that I owe 100 million. I don't even know at this point, right? Because the story's just fucking going in, in, in circles. You know, last week I got hit with uh, one kind of wire fraud. That was my complaint right now. <laughs> That's not normal. No one just gets hit with wire fraud charges just like on a, you know, on a casual Saturday. Like, oh, whoops, I just got a text. What's that? Wire fraud. Huh. <laughs> it doesn't work like that, brother. You know what I mean? Jesus Christos. They said that maybe I have access to 17 million. So where's the 100 million that everybody's talking about? Right? Again, I have nothing against the government. The government is doing their case. I understand it. This guy has created this frenzy where hundreds of people, 500 people are calling every single fucking day to see this shit on social media saying that I'm defrauding people and I owe people money. But I don't know these people. Right? And all this shit is going on and it's like, bro, social media is like the fucking devil. This shit is crazy. Like, it just makes no sense. And my whole case, everything that's going on is based on social media. Everybody's looking at social media for, and, and this whole thing and listen to people that are lying. I'll give you an example. There's this guy, uh, he went on Channel 4 News. Uh, he's suing me, right? Let's say his uh, na first name is, you know, I don't even want to say. <laughs> he couldn't even think of an imaginary name. Yo, this guy is fucking dumb as bricks. 
Honestly, man, the people that give this guy his money, I feel bad for you, but you also have to look yourself in the mirror. How did you, how were you convinced by this guy? He doesn't seem bright. He doesn't seem smart. He doesn't seem on point. He sounds like an absolute ditz. He can't even think of an imaginary name for his imaginary story. He's legitimately having a brain freeze in this fucking moment. To the point where he's just like, you know what, fuck, I'm just saying the name. Like, bruh. Say his name, right? But his name starts with an N. He sues me. Nigga. Our transaction is done and says, I'm only suing you. Every single woman that complains when you read them, I'm suing you because Tony the Closer said you're scamming people. I'm suing you because I saw it on social media. This is what people say in these complaints, right? You know what? Why don't you talk about Jeff? Oh, the wife in the background with the Chanel. What's she wearing now? Before she had a Chanel jumper on. What's she got on now? Bottega Veneta, Louis Vuitton, Chanel. What's she got on now? What's she got on now? Gucci. Let's see her on camera. Come on. Come on, camera, love. Yeah, but hold, hold on. So this guy, uh, letter N, sues me Nigga. before his deal's done. He goes on News 4 the other day, and I, te I text him back, which I have the receipts, and, and people are going to see that. Bro, why are you texting back but victims of the crimes that you have been accused of while you've got an open case? Why are you in communication with anybody except for your fucking legal counsel? Is this man legitimately redacted or is he actually innocent? Is there a situation, a scenario where Cesar Pena could be legitimately innocent? Is that possible? And everybody could have the wrong end of the stick. Everybody else could just have got it wrong. They're overreacting. They're jumping on the bandwagon. They're listening too much to Tony the Closer and all these other financial guru people online. Could that be possible? Because how else can you explain this level of ineptitude? How else can you explain this level of lack of foresight? How else can you explain this level of absolutely deranged thinking? He's texting, communicating with people who are suing him. People who may be involved in the case that's currently going on with him now that's in the fucking hundreds of millions. Does he seriously think he's innocent? Or is he just having one of those narcissistic breaks where he just needs to fucking be the center of attention? What the fuck is going on here? DJ Anthony was never in the room with you. Jennifer, my wife, was never in the room with you. My brother wasn't in the room with you. Why are you suing him? It was just me and you, baby. It was just me and you, papi. Just me and you. You know what he texted me back? It's just business. What's uh, what's dick in Spanish? Is it pinga or something? What's dick in Spanish? Is it tinga? Pinga? Like the slang word. Is it pinga or tinga or something? I forgot the term. The other day, uh, this guy from Patterson, Jeff... Uh, his son passed away, you know, R.P. Jeff. He goes on Channel 4 and says that I owe his son $900,000. I changed that kid Jeff's life. Oh, this is disgusting. Caesar, come on, bro. So basically what he's saying, there's one person in, in this who's involved in the lawsuits and the cases. Um, it was a guy who unfortunately passed away recently in a car accident. And now the guy's father is trying to collect the monies that was owed to his son or that he never got back from the investment. So the guy's dead. You imagine there'd be a little bit more consideration, a little bit more grace when speaking about this guy because the man is dead. And if I'm not mistaken, the dad is alleging that when he tried to collect the money from Caesar, get the money back from him that his son invested in the properties that he didn't get, Caesar told the dad that I gave it to him when he was alive. That's some dark shit. He told the dad, no, 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 I paid him. I paid him back when he was alive. Obviously, he didn't. So, watch your words, man. Speak with some level of respect and grace. This guy's fucking dead. It's fucking crazy. His father was in foreclosure, losing his car wash, losing his, uh, the dry cleaning place, or, or wash, wash and fold. I changed... Jeff's life when Jesus he met me. Christ. And people in Paris know this. And Jesus I have the receipts and I have Christ. the text messages. Jesus I helped him save Christ. his car wash. I helped him save 
I even paid for his property taxes. The first ho house that he bought, I gave him the down fucking payment. Oh my god, bro. How far are you gonna go with the disrespect? His wife, I'm the one that fucked her first. His children, I'm actually their father. Yo, man, come on, Caesar, bro. Have some respect. Come on, bro. Respect. Respect. Come on. Tiny respect. Come on. The guy's not even here to defend himself. Come on, bro. His family are going to be watching this. Come on. Come on, brother. Come on. At least, come on. Come on. I know you're fighting for your life, but come on, bro. The guy's dead. Like, really. Have some grace, man. Have some decency. Yowza, amigo. And also, he doesn't get to answer the question. Give the guy back his money. You said all the stuff you did for him. You changed his life. You fed his kids. You saved his dad's fucking business. You fucked his wife. You fucked his mom. You did all that good stuff. Okay, cool. Give him back his money. And I have the receipts. And these people are talking about it. They're all talking. Making up these stories. Bro, I have a text message, text message from you. When your son passed away, oh. you text me and said, if there's any money left, it goes to me. Don't give it to his daughter. Don't give it to his mother. Bro, I have the fucking message. Oh, like, every, I have... gross, man. He's trying to cause division within the family as well. Gross. Come on, Caesar, man. You are a fucking bad human being, bro. Too many receipts on all these transactions and all these things. But people are still making up lies. And this thing is like out of control. You the bad guy, bro. You think you're the good guy, but you the bad guy. You the bad, bad guy. Again, DJ Envy has never been in the room with me in any of these transactions for these 20 lawsuits. My wife was never in the room with me. My brother was never in the room with me. <laughs> you see how he started that one? His wife wasn't in the room, but his brother was. What were you and your brother doing in the room to alone? Huh? What were you and your fucking brother doing in the room alone? You fucking zesty fucks. The wife wasn't in the room. Brother, he started. <laughs> One more time. My wife was never in the room with me. My brother was never in the room with me. <laughs> All of this falls on me. I'm a man and it falls on my shoulders. Nobody else. You could talk shit on this, on this live. Don't matter. You could talk shit on my page. Don't matter. It doesn't bother me. None of it bothers me. Jesus Christ, bro. This guy's a legit sociopath, isn't it? No, the lack of empathy to the victims and what they've gone through. Because again, we're laughing, but some of these people are financially desolate. Some of these people are like on probably the verge of bankruptcy. Some of these people probably families will never be the same again. Marriage is destroyed. Families broken up. Do you know what I mean? Relationship changed forever. And here he is saying, I don't care. 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 Oh, yo, big up my guy, Rodeo. Wagwan, didn't see you there. Wagwan to Rodeo. Wagwan to Rodeo, bruv. Shake your chair. Bang your fucking doors. What's good, my guy, Rodeo? What's good? I'm not affected by it, right? And like I said, any person that... I also apologize to the people that are still in my corner, right? But I'm at the point now... <laughs> He's out of breath talking. <sighs> <laughs> fucking fashion <laughs> it must be so annoying if you're if you're a victim and this mother this fucking six six times a day fucking doordash orderer scammed you it must be even more infuriating in it because you know if you push him over he won't be able to get up do you know I mean just keep pushing him back over to stand up on his own feet and he's the one that fucking scammed you fucking hell and he's out of breath speaking on fucking instagram live <laughs> that I can't communicate with anybody because now everybody's a I thought you were communicating with the victims potential co-conspirator everybody is a witness everybody is a victim right it's not whoa, nobody's whoa, whoa, an whoa. investor anymore anybody's a victim I invested in this company Vision Bio I invested 200,000 right to give you an example I invested in this company 200,000 uh, it was supposed to go public it hasn't gone public in three years now, am I going to say I'm a victim of this company because the company didn't go public? What? Everybody what? What kind of example is this? Yo, this guy, this guy's fucking tapped. 
this guy's fucking tight. He's going down. He's going fucking down. I'm I'm almost sure of it. He's you know why you know why he's probably gonna go down because he's one of those people. I think there's a lot of them on social media nowadays, and I've said it before. I think it's actually a real key ingredient to being successful in his kind of you know in his field of work, social media, whatever stuff he's done in terms of trying to get money from people and shit. Right? He is delusional, but he's also somebody who doesn't um who doesn't know the limits of his own intelligence. He actually thinks he's smarter than what he is. He actually thinks he's more nuanced, um, more, just more on it than he actually is in reality. You know what I mean? He doesn't actually know how he sounds when he speaks. He thinks he sounds completely different. So that's what's going to fuck him up when he gets to court because he's going to think he can outsmart the government and he can outsmart these lawyers. I bet you he's going to go in there. Don't be surprised if he tries to do one of those like, I'm defending myself shits. Because he watched fucking um, Scandal, right? Because he watched Suits on fucking Netflix. He might get in that courtroom and try and defend himself. This motherfucker's going down, bro. <laughs> you know, and even, you know, I understand uh, DJ Envy's attorney, his defense to DJ Envy is a victim. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Uh, me and him were partners in the real estate seminars. We were partners in a couple real estate transaction this says it in the in the text there on the screen nigger was a door dash platinum member is that even a thing does that even exist is there such a thing as door dash platinum is that a thing platinum can you be that is that such a thing what oh, oh it's not for a customer is it it's for for the riders a platinum level to unlock similar benefits so available to top dasher you must reach platinum stage back okay cool so this is for the person delivering not for the customer not for the customer is it can you get is there a customer um platinum level no okay cool it's not i about to say i thought there was a fucking platinum level for fucking customers that would be a bit crazy like if you order a lot they just give you a platinum thing that's fucking crazy that's it yeah, exactly. He's not a black He card. was my partner. He was an investor. Anthony Martini, this guy, uh, Anthony Barone, we did a real estate transaction to, together. They're my partners. They own part of the property. But everybody's a victim. Everybody's a victim. Nobody's an investor anymore. Nobody. So Yes, because you scammed them, you fucking cunt. How could he not realize this? They say you scammed them. You don't think you did. But of course they're victims because they're the victims of the scam. Holy shit. <laughs> this guy is frustrating. They're not invested anymore. They're now they're victims. Uh yeah. What do you think would happen? You know what? <laughs> like what? But you're my friend. Yeah, we're not friends anymore. You stole half a million from me, you fucking fool. It is what it is. Bro, and you people gotta understand because You people, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? There's so many fucking retards out there. Oi! Come on. Let's not use that word. It's redacted. Not that word. It's redacted. I've been doing this for 17, 18 years. Not right? anymore. At the end of the day. Aha! Touch success. Aha! What? Do that again. Right? At the end of the day. Aha! Touch... Aha! You can't even enunciate the words properly. Aha! <laughs> 17, 18 years. Right? At the end of the day, aha, touch six. <laughs> how did people give, honestly, honestly, how am I not rich? Okay. I can form some coherent sentences. I don't scam. <laughs> right? How are we all not as rich as this guy? How are we not all basking in richness? Should we all start running scams? Okay. Maybe I should start running one now, okay? If you want to become a top 20,000 subscriber YouTuber, if you want to run live streams in the middle of a day in a warm apartment with your blinds down, right? <laughs> On a dodgy MacBook from fucking 2015, subscribe to my course. It's only $500 per month, no refunds. <laughs> and the classes are only once a year. Okay, <laughs> that's what we should start doing. Sign up now. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yo, how? How? 
One more time. You gotta understand, because all you, there's so many fucking retards out there. I've been doing this for 17, 18 years, right? Uh-huh. At the end of the day. I have touched success <laughs> multiple times. Every time I buy a fucking... I, I order DoorDash right now. That was with victims. <laughs> He's under investigation from the feds. Somehow people got a hold of his fucking banking details and shit. And essentially, from what I've been able to glean online, wire fraud is basically this. If we're engaged in a business transaction and I say I'm going to use your money for the furtherance of the business, but then when you give me your money, I order some McDonald's, that is wire fraud. Because you're taking the money for the deal and you're using it for other things outside of the deal that we got, we, we agreed on. So somebody was able to get hold of his account. I don't know how they did it, but they got hold of his account and they saw many instances where when people deposited money into his account, wired it into his account, that money went straight to ordering shit on DoorDash and shit and going to fucking fancy stores and buying stuff. So that already is a crime in itself. It doesn't matter if some of the money's... So it's just like, you shouldn't have your personal money mixed into a business account because you have your personal finances. But if it's a business transaction, you have to use that money for the business. The moment you take that money, even if you're spending it on a $5 fucking slice of pizza, that's fucking fraud. That's wire fraud. And he's done that numerous times. And they found this guy, right? And imagine, we don't have DoorDash in the UK. We have Deliveroo, we have Uber Eats, and we have Just Eat. But I'd imagine all of these delivery apps are the same around the world. Most likely, they all charge a premium, right? The menu prices on McDonald's on those apps are more expensive than the menu prices when you go in store. That should be common sense. Then on top of it is a delivery service, then whatever fee they put on, whatever, right? So usually, the money that you pay for a meal on those places is probably way more than you'd pay if you go into a store. But you do it for convenience. So... There can be times when you make a McDonald's order and it's over 30 pounds, over 30 dollars. Easy, right? This guy was ordering that type of shit more than four times in one fucking day. That fat shit. Four times in one day. And you know, most likely, it wasn't for his family, it was for himself. So not only was he being greedy, was he being a gluttonous pig, he was also using the funds, the hard-earned money of people that they used to invest or that they're wanting to pull their family out of debts of poverty, that they want to change the fucking future of their family, all of that good stuff, right? Using their hard-earned money, their dreams, their aspirations, their goals, wanting to put their kids in private school. He's taking that money and spending it on fucking Subway and shit. Like, honestly, the lack of respect. Money! I go out to a restaurant and eat a steak. That was victim's money. No, you stupid fucks. I am successful. I have successful businesses. It ain't none of that bullshit. Like, dude, it, 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 it's ridiculous what people think. Oh, my God. His daughter went to a concert. That was with our money. No, it wasn't. Like, this shit is crazy. It's fucking crazy already. But I hope I get that DoorDash contract and hopefully, um, you know, I get a commercial or something out of it. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'll leave it there. This guy's a piece of shit. He's going to go down. His own hubris, his own arrogance will definitely take him down. If he's not guilty by the evidence that's going to be available, his own hubris, his own arrogance, um, his own fucking inflated sense of self is definitely, definitely going to put him in big trouble. Um, and if he doesn't think MB snitching on him, he's in for a big, huge surprise. DJ Envy has a family. He has responsibilities of himself. He has his own reputation to save. If he doesn't think Envy's snitching on him, he's dumb. If he doesn't think his wife will switch on him, he's even dumber. Personally, my opinion. But again, what do 